Oh. Hey there folks, welcome back to ABD on and the gorgeous Miss Lady Pop Hunter with another weekly roundup looking at some things from Funko, NECA, Mezco, so on and so forth. Good Smile, been seeing a lot more from Good Smile lately. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, if you're in the Patreon group, we have some giveaways posted, an autographed Shattered Empire um, cover variant signed by Phil Noto and of course Vader down number one so if you're in the patreon please go over there and enter and if you're not it's not too late to sign up for the patreon and then you can enter if you're interested and I guess we'll go ahead and get started okay. we start off with Funko with the 80th anniversary of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> I like that one. Where he was the the lady with all of the fruit. Yeah. That one was funny. Carmen Miranda, I uh, think, is who he's impersonating. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of controversy about this because Warner Brothers is bringing Bugs Bunny back mm. for the 80th anniversary, mm -hmm. and but they want to make it nonviolent. And so Yosemite Sam is out. Uh, Elmer Fudd no shotgun mm. and a lot of people are like what are you doing so you can't get wally e. coyote and probably not but mm. um the thing is too i guess they never paid attention to uh tom and jerry because tom and jerry tried that with tom and jerry and friends, friends in yeah. the 80s one of the worst saturday morning cartoons ever <laughs> made um yeah. nobody remembers tom and jerry and friends because it sucked it, it sucked. You, you got to remember these uh, short, though they're not really cartoons. They were originally movie shorts mm -hmm. for an adult audience that were just played for children when children's TV became a popular thing. Mm. Here's a couple more. Exclusives, FYE, Target. I don't remember the King. I don't know if I remember the King either. I remember the Superbugs. I remember Did that one. Did you do Leopold? Uh, no, I don't see Leopold. Oh, Leopold was good. Leopold, yeah, I know you like that one. Yeah. <laughs> and What's that? I, I guess it's an Andy Warhol version. Oh. That Because I don't know what that is otherwise. Yeah, it's just carrots all over him. Yeah, and that's going to... he got a carrot in his hand? Funko Shop edition, I guess. Oh. Funko Shop exclusive... Care Bears Ride, <laughs> and that is who? Wish Bear? Mm -hmm. In the cloud car. That's cute. Yeah. I know you like the Care Bears. Yeah, I do. Probably still available. It might still be available. There's a lot of stuff on the shop right now. Amazon exclusive glow in the dark, venomized Doctor Strange. It looks weird. Yeah, it does. The coloring. <laughs> yeah. Looks funny. Another haunted mansion item. Mm. Whoever that guy is and the mansion with their little house diorama things that they do now. Yeah. PX Previews exclusive glow in the dark version of Tony Stark snapping his fingers from the end of Avengers Endgame. A 10 inch oh. chromed Mandalorian. With the baby? With the uh, baby, the child. The child. I think people have finally accepted that it's not Baby Yoda because mm -hmm. they keep saying that. Mm. Their 10 inches don't do that well anymore. Mm. A Walmart exclusive t-shirt made to look like the cards. That the box, uh -huh. that, that box, when you, um, what that looks like to me is you could mail order little cardboard boxes to store the cards in. Oh, okay. That's what that bo the box the shirt comes in looks like to me. Okay. And, of course, you see that it has, like, a uh, a trading card pictured on the shirt. 10-inch supersized Skeletor on the Funko Shop. Mm-hmm. You like that? 
No, I no. don't care for that 10 inches. Yeah. Well, they do take up a lot of space. Yeah. <laughs> Kiss. Kiss uh, soda figure with a glow-in-the-dark chase. Find the chase. Find the chase because you actually can't see what the, if there's a chase in there or not now, which is the novelty of this. Ninja Turtle, glow-in-the-dark chase. Mm. The Joker. That's the Heath Ledger yeah, Joker. Yeah, Heath Ledger Joker. You notice the numbers are getting bigger on these now. Yeah, that's 20,000. Before it was real short numbers, yeah. like 1,200, 1,500, 2,000. You see the numbers have gone up quite a bit. That one's 20. I guess it's popular. Chili Willy, 10,000. Well, it's the novelty. It's the same trick they always pull mm -hmm. with, with the uh, find the chase thing that's worked for them for several years now. And it took me a minute to figure out what they were duplicating here. Um, because that's when he was frozen. No, no, no. I'm talking about the style of figure. Because you know that Funko, uh, it, and without getting into it too much, okay. they're not that original. Mm. The, the stuff they're doing, it's all been done before. These figures, look up Sutton and Sons. S-U-T-T-O-N and Sons. In the uh, early 70s, they made figures just like this of Hanna-Barbera and... Uh, Harvey Comics characters sold in little cello bags. Oh, okay. And I was like, where have I... These look so familiar, except that I think those were jointed. Mm. And that'll jump us in a good smile. And good smile has an Alice in Wonderland doll. <laughs> which looks like Blythe to me. For those of you who remember Blythe, it was a doll exactly like this, big head, made in the early 60s and mm -hmm. had a pull string on the back of her head and when you pulled the string her eyes would close and when they opened they'd be a different color oh, okay it was uh those are worth quite a bit now but yeah this looks like a blithe alice in wonderland doll to me but of course it's good smile and it ain't cheap mm. at 410 dollars wow. i know 410 dollars is you that think? porcelain no it's plastic oh you can see her jointing on her arms. I mean, it's just a fashion doll. Mm. I think it's quite a bit. That shocks me. Mm. They have more Nendroids, and that is Breath of the Wild, Zelda. See, she's got a little uh, frog. Mm -hmm. $59. Captain America Nendroid from Good Smile. With What's the hair? It looks like he's got two different bodies. Yeah. The um different face plate and hair to switch out for the helmet, regular broken shield, the uh Some Thor's hands. Thor's hammer. Eighty one mm. for this one. I like how there's a little uh this how the stand works. Mm -hmm. There's a little platform and you can move the peg around. A Nendroid of Jack Skellington hmm. with a lot of accessories here. Well, he's got the pumpkin, he's got the gift, he's got the Santa hat and beard. He's got zero. There's different heads that come with this. This is $60 oh. for the Nendroid Jack. Then you've got action figures, and this is Link the Twilight Princess deluxe version because you see he's got the the mace there mm -hmm. with it with its own stand <laughs> so you can make it look like he's swinging it $82 and these are about what 1 12th scale I think okay and there's a regular version for 72 so like 10 bucks less you don't get the mace and an Android Mickey Mouse Steamboat Willie. <laughs> they should have it in black and white. And oh, you see, you can switch out his head. And this is $53. This is the 1928 edition Mickey, of course. Oh, that's cute. And since you brought it up, mm -hmm. yes, it, is in black it and does white. come in black and white for the <laughs> same price. Oh, wow. You like that? Yeah. And it doesn't look like an android because his head was that big anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looked right. <laughs> it looks right. Yeah, it fits. 
And that's going to do it for Good Smile for a while. Of course, you can find Good Smile in most places. I think what Think Geek and GameStop and Sideshow. Uh, uh, and, Barnes and Noble. Yeah, has it sometimes. And Big Bad Toy Store. Mm. Mezco. Still knocking it out. Christopher Reeve Superman, 1978 edition. Mm. And I like this because I like the Christopher Reeve Superman. I like the original Superman. He's got a lot here. He's got the kryptonite necklace, the kryptonite uh, chunk. He's got the crystals for his little uh, display there because that's what that is. That's like in his Fortress of Solitude. It's, it's kind of like a computer panel. Mm -hmm. Multiple hands and, of course, two heads. A lot of people have been saying that they don't like the smiling head. They don't think it looks right because he think they think he looks goofy. Mm -hmm. Go back and watch the film because he looked goofy when he smiled. Because he's supposed to be like, you know, coy mm -hmm. when he's interacting with uh, Lois, and he has a couple, a couple of times he has a really doofy looking smile like mm. that. And also keep in mind, this is a that's a prototype right there. So final production, it might not look the same, but I like that. The um, the stand lights up, the base lights up also. But um, I like what they've been they've been going back to some characters like they just did the Michael Keaton Batman mm -hmm. not too long ago. They they do did an earlier version of Wonder Woman. Mm. So although they did not do a Linda Carter Wonder Woman, just saying, Mesco. Anyway, mm. this one is one twenty five. Oh okay. One twenty five. Yes, well, I guess because it comes with that it, diorama yeah, it's got thing. The, yeah, it's got the diorama, and I, I guess that's how they justify the price. Yeah. But once again, these things are creeping up because the eighty was the average. Now the average is more like eighty five, ninety. It's creeping up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Neca has another King Kong. This one is uh, bigger. There are there are other King Kong. A lot of people wanted to customize the King Kong into a Gorilla Grodd to go with their 112 scale figures. Um, so they made a, they're making another one mm -hmm. a little bigger. Oh. Um, so instead of him being like six and a half inches tall, this one's going to be closer to 10, mm -hmm. something like that. I think it would have been nice if, because uh, they got angry um, looking head, and then they've got like, you know, I don't know what that head is. Mm -hmm. Not so angry because <laughs> his mouth is just open. Mm -hmm. Maybe a head where his mouth is closed. Mm -hmm. Maybe a Fay Ray. I mean, you made a you made the little girl for the uh, for the other two King Kongs. Why not this one? I don't know. Not sure on the pricing on this one. And we'll go ahead and jump into Sideshow. And Sideshow has Ninja Lord Joker. One sixth scale figure. It looks weird. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's from an anime. Mm -hmm. But yeah, one sixth scale jointed action figure being made by Star Ace. It's got the fans and the pots and the sword and all the little bits and pieces. This is $248. Wow. Yeah, it's expensive. The coloring is very bright. Yeah, it is very bright and if that's not enough for you there is a more expensive version this is 279 mm -hmm. it comes with the rifle the barrel and the platform it comes uh -huh. with that stand uh -huh. so you get a handful more accessories for 279 instead of what was the other one 248 oh, okay so $31 difference mm-hmm get more pieces if you're interested in that I don't know I'm not too familiar with the anime I've seen the Batman from this mm -hmm. they did a while back 3-0 yeah I saw that Optimus Prime 140 points of articulation and this is based on the Bumblebee movie that's like the first one it came out with this one is 19 inches, yeah, though. Yeah, the other one is, what, 12 inches, I think? I think, oh, 12 inches. Yeah. This one is 19 inches, and it's di got die-cast parts. The other one had die-cast parts. The, the, uh, the Bumblebee was die-cast. The 12-inch uh, Optimus was not die-cast. Oh, was it? No. Mm. Remember, I did a review on yeah, it. Yeah, you did. People were mad at me. 
as uh, I I didn't I didn't think he he doesn't pose. It's hard to control him. Mm-hmm. It's hard to change his pose, move his parts. I mean, he's got all these like this says 140 points of articulation, but he, they're so delicately built. It's hard to work with. Yeah. And people got mad at me for saying that, but uh, five hundred and eighteen dollars for this one. Mm. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Was he that much taller than the Bumblebee? Are they scaling it to the diecast one? That I don't know because the uh, the the one that I have, he's already taller than the Bumblebee. Yeah, because that would put Bumblebee at about his knee on this one. Bumblebee wasn't that. It was about to his waist. I guess. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Not unless they come out with the they redo the whole series and all of them are bigger. Oh jeez, that's too much. <laughs> Trick or Treat Studios. What is that? That looked the like that thing. Gremlin. Yeah. The the Gremlin, the Bandit Gremlin. Mm. Well, they put a ski mask on a Gremlin. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Keep in mind, this is just going to be like what that blow foam or whatever they make it out of, the, like you see at the Halloween store. Yeah. So two hundred fifty dollars if you need a Gremlin and a ski mask. I wonder what they did with his ears. Hmm. You know, the ears are big. Yeah. I wonder if the mask comes off. Mm. You have to get it and see. 250 bucks. Also, from Creepshow, Fluffy the Crate Beast Bust. What? And this is another blow foam. This is not a hard material. Mm-hmm. $300, and it's a one-to-one scale, mm-hmm. but there's nothing behind that. They don't show you the backside mm-hmm. of this particular uh, bust, but I'm telling you, there is nothing behind it. Okay, oh. so it's just a face. Bust. So it's like a mask? Uh, I think it's flat in the back. Oh. But there's there's nothing back there. They didn't sculpt the whole head. Oh. $300. They did good line work. Yeah. You know, the features. Uh-huh. Oh, look at that. Guy. Trick or Treat, Dawn of the Dead, The Airport Zombie. Airport zombie, and you know who that is because Mezco did a figure of him because mm. they did Dawn of the Dead, um, which is the sequel to Night of the Living Dead. We saw Dawn. Wasn't that when they locked in themselves the in the mall? Yes. That movie was good. That was actually better than the original. Yeah, that movie was pretty good. It's on YouTube. If yeah. Everybody wants to see it. 85 bucks for the bust. Mm-hmm. And the, this is still from Trick or Treat Studios. Folky zombie based off of the uh, poster for that movie. Okay. $85. That looks pretty bad. We saw this one too. So when they were on the island in like Haiti or somewhere and the people were really stupid. I know that's every zombie film. But uh, they wouldn't leave the island and all the corpses were coming up and they were all eaten up. I think I know yeah, what you're I, talking I, about. I know, I'm not describing it very no. well, but I know we saw it together. Not at all. The professor was there. Mm-hmm. Um, trick or treat again, Killer Clowns, Space Cotton Candy Hangers. Because that's what they <laughs> did to some people in the in the film. 90 bucks. You could decorate your tree. Okay. Yeah. Or you could put it up on your ceiling in your museum. I guess. Hanging on in, on the... Drops, yeah. You never saw Killer Clowns. Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Yes, I don't think you never saw that, I don't think. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> and oh, coffee maker? since people are so fascinated by this recently, from Uncanny, Uncanny uh, Industries, of course, they've been make, I've been showing these off and on the last couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's uh, the Child, the Mandalorian coffee maker. Single serve single coffee serve maker, coffee so maker. you can put this in your little cubicle until you until the day they hand you the box, tell you to get out. They don't give you a box; they just say, you know, sign this paper, you fight. Yeah, you got to get a box from somewhere so you can gather all the junk you accumulated because you were so sure you'd be staying there forever. No, all your pictures you put on the wall. <laughs> Thirty-five bucks. Keep in mind that's not counting tax and shipping. Shipping on these, I'm sure, won't be cheap. Oh, a toaster. Yeah, Mandalorian toaster. You need to have toast with a child burned into it. $40. 
Actually, I like the coloring on the toaster. The coloring is good. It looks very retro. Yeah, it does. And it's got that fat body shape to it, too. And, of course, the child waffle iron. Oh. Your waffle will never come out as cleanly as the one pictured. Just say You don't saying. know that. Yes, I do. It's either going to be incomplete around the edges, or it's going gonna, it's gonna to goop out over the sides, and you'll end up having to clean it up. Because that's what happens. Yeah. And I think that's it. That's going to mm -hmm. do it, folks. See anything that you liked? I actually like those Funko Bugs Bunny. I thought you might. Um, because I, I do have Warner. the Looney Tunes, yeah, Warner, Warner Brothers, Brothers stuff. Looney Tunes. So I actually might get that. And I did get the um, Care Bear. Oh, no. I did. You got a Care Bear. Mm -hmm. Because I love <laughs> the Care Bears. And yeah. I do have all of the... Um, Ones that already came out, mm -hmm. and that one, you know. But other than sure. that, that's... Oh, I do like the Mickey Mouse. I'm I not thought sure you were the, ten, the Nendroid? Yeah. That'd be your first Nendroid if you got it from Good Smile. Yeah, it's not like it's a path I want to go down, so I, I don't need to say it like that. Well, I know, but, but it, um, it, you didn't like the Jack? Yeah, I like the Jack, but, you know, I ain't trying to really do nothing new. <laughs> See how I'm baiting her? But no, yeah. I know. If you got the, I, if she honestly though, she she doesn't. Uh, she she's not a completist like all no. that <laughs> most of the time, unless it's like Masters of the Universe or something. Yeah, but, I'll complete that. But it's other things. Yeah. Like I like one or two characters, and I'll only get that. Like and, Transformers, and I only like fine. four characters. She's fine with that. Yeah. She's pretty good about not getting going down too many rabbit trails. So I know if she if she got the the Mickey Nendroid, that'd probably do it for her. Yeah, I just need one. I think I like the black, the black and, white and white one, one though. Course. But um, well, it fits with the original cartoon. Yeah, so I don't know. Steve I might, Oak. I might consider that one. But I think I am going to get those Looney Tune pops though, because I do like uh, Looney Tunes. Yes. You know, and if they come out with that Leopold, I'm gonna just flip. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't be ten Leopold. inches though. Yeah. God, if it's ten that, inches, I won't get it. That was a good episode. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever or see a good that, short. if you ever see that, well, you you have to look it up. That was great. You got to watch the classic shorts and their original uncut. That was another <laughs> one going back to Tom and Jerry again oh. when they released the original shorts of Tom and Jerry on disc. They took the nanny out because yeah. he or not the nanny, but whoever the homeowner was was a black woman, right? Mm -hmm. And you never saw her. All you saw was her you all, big behind. All you saw was her legs walking by and. Hit him beating Tom with a broom or something. Yeah, but because of her, they said her voice was stereotyped, they cut it out. Mm -hmm. And people complained so bad that they had to make a mail offer that, like, okay, if you want the corrections, um, send us your name and an address and we'll send you a whole new disc to mm -hmm. replace that disc. And they, they the, the whoever it was, I forget the company that made the Tom and Jerry uh, on DVD, mm -hmm. they lost a fortune. Um, reissuing discs to people who were pissed off that they either removed her or changed her voice in certain places. Mm. So, yeah, I, I, you want to see original uncut versions. I mean, some of it, it, some people could consider it offensive, but, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. I liked the uh, Mezco Superman. Oh, okay. You don't care. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> that about that's about it for me but what can i say what about you what did you like tell us about it in the comment section down below please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it we hope that you did share it if you can subscribe if you're new don't forget to check the patreon for giveaways and find us on instagram open by chance on instagram find us on facebook all of that information is down below thanks for watching and we will see you again soon